hello everyone welcome back to our another tutorial on wordpress so today we learn how to create a packing slip a packing invoice in our woocommerce products on for order page and our emails of our clients sometimes we need a packing slip for our customers to send a hard copy or a soft copy so how to create today we learn how to create that invoice in our woocommerce so we need a one plugin so go to our plugins add new plugin so here we type a uh, uh, sorry packing slip so you you can see a uh, lot of uh, plugins uh, we have here so we can use this one this one this one which which one? we have a lot of uh, a uh, plugin so which were n not recommended of uh, a specific uh, plugin you can use uh, your own choice you can use this one you can use uh, this one this is also a good web toffee plugin so you can also use this one so these all are similar a little uh, configuration are different but our result are similar so we are using this one because uh, uh, we have a uh, lot of our downloads so according to these plugins so it has a uh, more downloads and more reviews so it's more more uh, sat uh, satisfied for us and the most important thing is a last update one week ago this is a three week ago this is also one week ago but this uh, download is an, uh, more than other plugins so we are using this plugin now simply install activate as usual wordpress plugins we can activate it and using when the installing is complete you can configure our plugin and you just ignore these message because we have a lot of uh, plugins so activated so that's why uh, there are some uh, payment options and they are uh, error messages are here in our uh, development server so you just ignore that messages you um, we yes we have successfully activated our packing slip so just deactivate this plugin So packing invoice, and this packing invoice is activated. Go to our setting. So here is our setting. We can uh, manage. So because we don't have any order have placed, so first we need to place one order. So go to here, add to cart, different products, view cart. So here's a proceed to check out. We just place an order. So here's a basic information. I am pausing the video, fill the information and place the order. Oh one. So we need to first need to activate our payment option for WooCommerce. So currently I am activated cash on delivery for basic testing purpose uh, activate our orders for orders and we just reload this page. Now you can see here is the option of payment method. So we are adding uh, some uh, dummy details here just place an order this is uh, only for our testing purpose to creating our invoice because we don't have order on this website currently so just place an order after uh, completing order yes order is completed successfully so go back here and reload our this page so here is our, our address now here you can also uh, using our uh, you can also use uh, HTML code or PHP code to create uh, your own template. So here's the uh, file location where we create a template simple. So if you are using simple, uh, we have all other options. So just check. We have just one one option simple. So you can go to this file locations and create your own templates like HTML, CSS. So how do you want to view PDF? download pdf option you want 
you want to open a pdf in new browser tab or window which option you want to pdf size a4 letter so different sizes are available so for for test mode extend extended currency symbol support so you can also a currency symbol support so enable a font set, uh, sub setting shop header logo this is very important if you want to place a logo of your website here just a simple thing i'm using this this one because this is a simple image so for this is only for testing purpose so when you place the image here is image the image resolution is exceeded so resolution is exceeded the recommended size so you can see the size of little disturb so because this is a testing purpose you can also set your size according to your requirement so let's suppose 3 cm let's make a little small so here's your name your shop which is you want uh, wordpress shop you can see your address details are here and here is the your shop address x x y z you can also term and condition if you want to add a note in your uh, notes uh, item is refunded within seven days so here within seven you if you want to here you can see the note you can also add here you can also extra fields uh, you can also something extra yes you can see in the field some extra fields are come where we place the hash where where with the extra fields i can't find yeah so extra fees are not enabled i think so in setting so just uh, save option when you save your pdf is created invoice or packing slip you, you also setting up your packing slip you can set up as an invoice so you can set a diff uh, both of uh, differently so here's our document option so this is an invoice or pack slip enable on new order add an email cancel order uh, on hold order plus completed order and uh, funded order so you can set your own uh, disable status which one you to want if you want to uh, disable of this uh, specific st uh, wordpress status uh, woocommerce status so you can set a uh, here display email address if you want to display the email address in the uh, in the invoice or phone number you have a lot of options for here if you want to a number prefix and pending padding uh, uh, suffix uh, you can also use here uh, let's suppose invoice number prefix is wp so number is started from one invoice number 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 yes this is invoice number you can see here invoice number is wp and uh, is our counting one if you want to set a invoice number as a order number so it's also a, a modified uh, order number is not recommended maybe lead or gaps in the uh, invoice sequence so it's not recommended so just order number invoice date if you want to print an invoice date or order date you can also set up your order date added already uh, on this short if invoice date as a invoice date so once the invoice is created so the date is uh, completed reset invoice number yearly uh, if you want to say reset the yearly number so you can set here we have a lot of option if you are exploring these options you can just save and hold 
and so our next part is how to download this invoice and how to receive this invoice so the first thing because we are on localhost so first uh, emails are sometime emails are not sent to us uh, order customer and admin so you can when you are a live server so you can see the emails has been sent on admin email and also invoice uh, sorry invoice sent to our uh, admin email also all uh, send to user email so here's you just create your invoice pdf invoice just click you can see is open a new tab we are set our location uh, setting up the invoice is opening a new tab we are also setting to set up the setting download the invoice in a from here hey, you can see that here's our invoice invoice created date invoice created uh, order date and the items of details sku kgs and each and everything details are here so finally we have set up uh, our invoice successfully so if you like our video it please thumbs up and if you don't forget to subscribe our youtube channels for more and latest contents thank you very much